out. So this is, uh, well, this was my solar project. I don't have the panels out right now, but we'll show that later on in the video. Um, I picked up these two batteries. They are uh, 7.2 amp hour batteries, uh, 12 volt. Um, and I ran them in parallel to my inverter. And I ran them off a Coleman 40 watt and a Noma 25 watt solar panel. So I thought, well, oh, and I added a, um, a plug so I could plug in the cooler that we have. Um, anyway, but I thought, well, let's throw this together. Um, we'll put a more elaborate uh, faceplate on it and add another battery. So we're going to take this stuff apart and add some extra wiring on it. I started a wiring harness because I'm going to run these in parallel. And then I'm working on another one. I only had white wire and I like having my wire color coded. So I spray painted my wire and then I used a red Sharpie on this guy here. So we're going to run and we're going to make a nice little um, wiring harness. Uh, so, so we will have one running on the positive terminal and then I'm going to create another one. We're going to run down the negative terminal. And there's our wiring harness for our negative leads and there's our positive so, ones. Now that we have our wiring harness made here um, and then we have another one here. What I need to do is um, I need to make sure that these can connect to a terminal. Well, the camera likes so, cutting out at inopportune times. So what I've done here is I've just taken this ring terminal and I have put it over the, um, uh, put it onto the wire with a piece of um, shrink uh, tube. I'm just gonna give that a good punch in there. I've already given it a bit of a cleat with the other wrench and then well, we're going to have to give it a bit of a haircut here. Looks like we got a couple of free little wires. All right. So now I will just heat that up and it should All right, just so we have our two um, wiring harnesses made. This is our positive and this will be our negative. Um, yikes, what a mess that looks like already. It's a big chaotic mess of wires. It's actually not chaos. It just feels like chaos. So I've made two wiring harnesses, uh, a red wiring harness for the positive lead and actually a third to connect the inverter. And then a, well, I was trying to paint it black, but most of it ended up on my hands, a uh, negative harness. So, um, we're going to run these three batteries in parallel. So let's run three batteries in parallel. There's one. There's two. And there's number three. All right. So we've got these leads that go off and they will go off into terminals. All right. Now I would like to connect this, but if I connect this, We've got dangling wires and dangling wires and that much amperage, probably not a great idea. Uh, let's see what we have to connect these things to. Well, just temporarily, what we can do is we can take the negative from both sides. And this is temporary and put it on our inverter. Now I have no dangling wires, so I shouldn't short out. Run these ones right into the terminal over here. I hope that's in frame. And then we're going to start connecting red wires. All right. And let's not touch anything that says negative. Lest there will be sparks, smoke, and questions from my wife. All right, and one more. All right, let's see if the wiring worked. Um, yeah, look at that. The inverter is on. Well, okay, folks, we're getting there. 
Oh, she's not. And here's the uh, here's the items. We have an on-off switch. We have two USB ports, and they are 3.1 amp. We have a 12 12 volt plug, and then we have a voltage meter. So, anyway. All right. Now that we have everything unboxed, uh, we can we can sort of plan this out a little bit. So I'd like the faceplate here. Um, what I'm gonna have to do is just make sure that the batteries will correspond. All right, so we've got this working now. Um, as you can see, she's drawing 13.1 volts. Uh, I took it and I put it in the truck last night with a double, well, something that looks like this, but it's uh, on each side. And it will charge in the truck off my 12 volt system. Uh, so it's great. Uh, I did run the uh, 12 volt cooler off of it last night as well in this configuration. Uh, putting this faceplate on is going to be a giant pain in the hole and it's a good thing this was free and almost in my trash heap because I think I'm not happy with the placement and the cutout but hey you know what we'll continue uh, these leads here are more for speaker wires and electricity so they probably need to be replaced as well but that was a pretty that was like a six dollar purchase on Amazon anyway so um I cut out a lot of the video because it just involved cursing and we want to keep this G rated or at least PG 13. So what I'm going to do is now I am going to cut out the template, uh, mount the faceplate and then rewire it. Um, fortunately there's a picture of the wiring on Amazon but there's no instructions. You have to take each piece off and to do that you have to disconnect the wires anyway that kind of fell apart but then what I did was tried to use logic and follow the um, the line of electricity and that kind of helped and then a little bit of trial and error to be first let's test honest. the USB so the uh, this is a CR one two three rechargeable battery and there are there's my connection and there's my indication that everything's charging and working just fine. So what can you do with these, this thing? Well, one thing you can do is you can run your uh, rotary tool off of it. Um, my battery's charged and I got some holes to cut. Can't find my uh, Forstner bit, so I'm gonna use a cutting um, bit on my rotary tool. What'd that do? Oh yeah, that, that makes the voltmeter jump. And anyway, anything with a motor is generally harder to run on an inverter, so that was kind of a good sign. All right, well, there she is with crooked base plate and all. Um, let me flip that on. There we go. We have that. And then we have a functioning 12 volt system. Uh, we've got ter two terminals on this side and two terminals on that side to accept uh, outside 12 volt power. So why don't we uh, see what this thing can run. We already saw that it works on the rotary tool. Um, got a case here and above here is a nice little uh, thing for storing cables. The only downside is right now if you want to use the inverter you got to open it up anyway you could actually put a little dowel stick in there and then I would have a, a rest uh, the insides are wow that was more complicated than I thought it was gonna be but we got her done so let's shut her off uh, let's close her down lock her down And let's take her for a road trip. All right, so here's our uh, here's our solar unit. Uh, on. Just coming in. 15.7. Yeah, 15.7. I've um, got my 12 volt socket plugged in. 
My USB seems to be reading as working. And I have a Noma 25 watt solar panel up on top of the roof. I'm not sure if that's in frame. Well, there it is now. And I have my uh, electric cooler. So I'm going to turn my electric cooler on. The fan rolled up just nicely, and my watts down. With that fully charged, I expect this thing could probably run this for 12 hours straight. That being said, it only needs a couple of hours through the evening just to top up the uh, temperature, so uh, we won't need that. Nice little feature about this ammo can is it's got a lid, so I have a two-way plug. I tried this last night, so I can plug in right here and into the truck and it will recharge this battery if uh, the solar isn't going fast enough for my needs well that's pretty much it so um, just a cost breakdown of this uh, I had some of the materials kicking around anyway uh, this old ammo can and the faceplate and the terminals were probably about 25 bucks 35 dollars roughly uh, the batteries probably a hundred dollars total some wires and some connectors uh, probably another twenty dollars so we're probably looking in the under two hundred dollar range to make this with my battery set up you could go bigger you could go smaller if i had to do it over again i would have spent ten more dollars and just ran one battery but that's just the way uh the way it worked out and and then you throw the panel in, which was $50 on sale. This wasn't, but this isn't really part of the project. It's just what's going to actually be one of the uses for it. Nice thing about that, too, is I can run that, get that charged up. I keep the one solar panel in a basement window. It catches just enough light to keep uh, a couple batteries charged. And then I can always charge my USB devices. And... I also have AC. So as you saw, I was able to run a rotary tool. I can run a laptop of uh, 300 to 600 uh, watts. So uh, it does a lot. Anyway, that's the setup. This is probably the application. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and 